Good morning. <laughs> Here we go. Good morning. This is Karen O'Neill from sunny Sarasota, Florida, getting ready for our big meeting this next coming week. And I'm here with Darlene and Larry, but he's out enjoying yeah. sunshine while he was on the patio. And we're here to welcome you all. This is the most wonderful, magical Monday morning. We get to share our stories of what has gone on with us in the patches. And it's just fun. And when you come on, please remember we don't diagnose, treat, or we don't claim to diagnose, treat, or cure any diseases. Please do not name a disease for any reason. Even if you think it's safe to name it for the what you're saying, just keep diseases out of it. Tell them to go away and talk about symptoms and make it fairly short, how I was, what I did, how I am now. So make it short so we can get as many stories as possible. Hopefully there'll be a lot of people coming on to bless our community this morning. And I'm especially excited because we have a neighbor here at the Casa and um, I just got to patch her knees just before we got on. It was almost late because of that, but she had two knees that were hurting a lot and they're better and she's going to be um, enjoying that as they get better and better today. So that was really fun. Anyway, let's, I'm just going to take a breath, slow down, be quiet and see who's going to come on and bless us first. Don't all jump we, in at once. <laughs> I wonder if we should ask if there's anyone new to the call. Thank you. I do always forget that. Is there, if there's anyone new in the call, please say hello because we'd like to give you a, a special welcome because you're brand new. And well, if you're new and I'm you're shy. New. Hi. Oh, hello. Who is this? This is Miriam. Hi. And Miriam, Hi. and your hand is up. Or do you have a story to share? Um, I. I do. I'm brand new. and I don't know anything about this call, but I will say that um, I have had several interesting stories. I just started less than a month ago um, checking out the uh, patches myself. And one of my friends has chronic pain. And so he has had a lot of difficulties over many years anyway. So I gave him a um, this is probably not the best way to do it, but I gave him a, a a packet of the ice wave and told him how to use it um, because I was really concerned about he, he can't do his regular therapy because he's on blood thinners right now. So blah, blah, blah. Anyway. And so he kept trying them and he kept noticing that the pain became very manageable when he would put them on his low back. And when he stopped, then it, it, it came back. So he's very, you know, he is not a person who would be like a placebo effect kind of guy. He's a very skeptical, but very sensitive human. And so I was so delighted that this product was making a big difference for him. So then I tried it on another friend and his neck pain went away instantaneously. And I tried it on another friend and her knee pain went away, just, you know, like <laughs> putting one patch and another patch, moving the brown and white patches around. And um, so I've been just so delighted with uh, ice waves. I really am uh, so thrilled. So thank you. Oh, Miriam, that is wonderful. And welcome to Miracle Monday mornings. And thank you for being the first to share. And doesn't it make you feel almost like, like, like powerful oh, that you have this wonderful thing in your hands? It sure anyway, does. Anyway, thank you. Yeah. And thank you so much. Those are great stories. And it's, I think it's what keeps us all going is, you know, come, if you ever I'm just sure see too. someone yeah. suffering and you can't help, but now we can. Thank you. It's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to hear more stories. So hope other people will share too. Yes, you guys don't be shy. Come on in. Thank you, Miriam. Who's next? Looks Miriam's like new. Do you want to Ken Who is this? Oh, there's Ken. Ken. Okay, come on in, Ken. You can unmute yourself, Ken. Oh, yeah, unmute. There you okay. go. Okay. So a uh, week or so back, I heard somebody talking about Alavita. They were putting it directly on a mole, and the mole went away. I wouldn't pay a lot of attention, so I didn't know the time frame. So I've been trying that, and uh, there's one on my face. And the first night I put it on, when I pulled it off, uh, where my night, 
there's like little pieces of the mole on there. And the next night, a little, you know, more of it came off and it's like, it's, it's going away. And so last night I tried it on a second mole that was bigger on my body. And when I took it off while ago, a bunch of it was on there. So it's taking moles off. <laughs> like, wow. Days. <laughs> That's amazing. It's delightful, isn't it? It's absolutely delightful. Yay, keep that up. I've got several relatives and stuff that don't seem to care about anything other than moles. So like, you know, <laughs> here's my new selling point. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I love it. That yeah. is really cool. I haven't run up with that. So that's cool. Holy so moly. That's a great story, Ken. Thanks. Yeah. Holy okay. moly is right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Awesome. Who's next? Anybody have their hand up? I don't see any hands up. Ken, you should post that on our Vibrant Living page okay yeah I'll no, take that'd a be picture. awesome I, I took a picture of that patch this morning because it it had a lot on there like kind of nasty looking but you know <laughs> yeah you can post that too that'd be awesome okay, we like picture. hey there's joe ready for uh hey joe picture. let's go let's go oh. joe all thank right. you ken I'm trying to raise my hand yeah. um, that's, sorry, that's all right just come on it's up i see your hand okay I'm sorry I haven't uh, shared before, but uh, uh, I just want to share something yeah. about what happened to me a little while ago. I had a very bad infection um, on top of my head, and it uh, really went even to the side of my head I, at my lymph nodes. I had to go for surgery. So it was about 12 hours, and uh, where they had to remove part of the skin on my, uh, on my head and uh, put some skin graft. And uh, I was supposed to be in the hospital for two weeks. But uh, lo and behold, they told me to, well, you can go home after four days. So Woo! Was, yeah. And also I had to go for treatments and all that and my whole face was burnt and, uh, and um, they cut half of my neck open and uh, I have no, uh, I have no, uh, you know, you can't tell that I had surgery whatsoever around wow. my neck. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I don't go anywhere without this. So this is going to be me for the rest of my life. I don't, I, I hate to think how it would have turned out if I wasn't taking it. So, uh, before the surgery, because exactly. I had no idea. Yeah. I had no idea this thing was going to happen. I might as well uh, show my face a little bit, maybe. Uh, so there you are. Yeah, there, thank there you. I, I got to get some better lighting. So that is actually is pretty good. It, that's an, a wonderful story. And imagine two weeks to four days. That's unheard of, especially for those of us over forty. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my sixties. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. I, I turned 72 a week ago. And I turned uh, 66 we brag a, about it. a week ago, too. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, November oh. 2nd. Oh, mine's November 1st. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you, too. Thank you. I, I, did, I did wish you a happy birthday. November yeah, I think you did. You did. Yeah. And it's like, it's lovely to look forward to birthdays when we're in our 60s and 70s, you know, I have friends who won't even celebrate. I think, oh, you're crazy. You need to use these patches. Come on. Man. Anyway, that's well, I, wonderful. Thank you. I, I've been told I look much better now. So I'm sure you do because you yeah. look great. That's wonderful. All right. Thank let's you. move along to Stacy. And thank you so much, Joe, for sharing. Good morning. How is everyone? Good morning, Stacy. Good. I wish I was coming to Florida also. Oh, I'm jealous. Me too. <laughs> um, I have a quick testimony for one of my preferred customers uh, about the SP6. Um, she tried it on the spots that the book, the little pamphlet said to, to try it, you know, for carb control and all that, and it didn't work. So she put it directly on her stomach and she loves it there. So just how wow. we just, just tell ourselves and tell others, just keep moving around till you find that perfect spot. And so she wanted me to share that with you all. 
I love that. Thank you. And Stacy, that is so good because sometimes you really do need your to use your intuition and move them around and wonderful things happen. So that's great. Thank you. Awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. And let's move right on. Is that Sandy? Good morning. I'm coming to you from the East Coast and um, it's uh, sunny here. I would like to share what the X39 has done for my cat. Um, oh, awesome. And she, I'd like to pet your cat. <laughs> she, thank you. She had a tumor right here about the size of the mouse. And that was um, probably about six weeks ago. My husband and I have been on uh, the X39, the uh, ion and the glutathione patches. As you can see, we are avid viewers. And I just became a distributor. Um, uh, about Congratulations. Uh, four, thank you. About four months ago, uh, the vet wanted to put her down. And I said, no. So um, I thought, well, I had been reading in the groups about how you could take your X39, because she doesn't wear a collar. She's a house cat. So um, I take my patch off, and he takes his patch off at night. And we use tape, and we put it right here on the back of her head um, between the neck and down. And now there is a lump about the size of a little gumball. Oh my gosh. Oh my it's, gosh, it's, that's wonderful. It is. And I love the way you demo. I, I like your model. Oh, so, um, yep, my little Burmese visual. is coming back and uh, it's pretty wonderful. And um, uh, I would love to be able to share more about my husband, but he has, um, he has a condition that affects his liver and he is in uh, the stages that... Um, uh, our end stage, but he is showing improvement. And as soon as we get some more um, blood work, I will be, be able to share more with that. That's so awesome. thank you. Sandy, thank you. I love the joy that I see on your face. Thank you. Joy as things thank improve you. for you, both your cat, your husband, and probably you too. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. So who's next? I don't see any more hands, but I know somebody's yeah. wanting to I'll, share. I'll jump in. Thank you. Yeah, Robin here. I guess I should put my camera on. Um, well, I'm going to share a story for Terry Warner. Um, she's not on the call, but she had um, a surgical procedure, and they told her it was going to get way worse before it got better. She had one day of worse, and she's compared her visual of what's going on with someone who's five weeks post-op and she's a few days. Wow. And I know it's amazing. And she'll be sharing soon. I'm going to encourage her to get on the call and, and share some before and after pictures because it's quite dramatic. And, and they just said, it's going to be pretty bad for several, several weeks. And she's looking great. So, and it's days. And I have, I think I have a testimonial for X49, but I'm going to wait till the conference and share it. <laughs> oh, you teaser, you, you stinker. <laughs> That's exciting. That's really fun there. Thank you so much. That's exciting. These stories just almost bring tears to my eyes. They make me so happy. Thank you. Who's next? This is Ann Fishburn. Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Hi there, um, Anne Marie. I'm at our store, so I have background noise at our health store, but I just wanted to jump on and just share an amazing testimony I had about a month and a half ago. I had traveled, eaten some bad food, got a bad bacteria, and had horrible gastritis. It was really bad, so bad that I went to a GI doctor, having a hard time eating, extreme pain had the scopes done just to rule out things. But then Anne-Marie Dixon remembered Dr. Jeff's testimony about the, the carnosine patch. And I started putting the carnosine patch right up under the top of the rib cage, right over the stomach. And I got immediate pain relief. It was amazing. Uh, and it just, it, it really does work quickly. And it did work quickly for me. If there was a time I skipped it, I knew it. So I knew it was working. So that's it. I just wanted to share that. Oh, that's um, awesome. Thank you, Anne. That's a fabulous yes. story. And we Thanks. need to remind each other, if you know of a patch that can help somebody. I mean, I had heard Dr. Jeff, but I was in such pain, I forgot. And I had Anne Marie to remind me. So we all need to help each other. That's a really I good point. Thank you, Anne. 
That's I a, have a friend, story. right? Okay, Sh have I've got Sharon on next, and then Henrietta. Good morning. Okay. Am, I, am I off mute? Yeah, you're off, but let's, okay. yeah, you're good. You're perfect. I have been living with a, and I'll just say a dis-ease for a number of years that affects the nerves. And one of the major effects it's given me is that- Hold on one second. If you're not talking, please mute yourself. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, that when I would stand up to walk, I'd have to stand for a good 10, 15 seconds to make sure I had my balance. Otherwise I'd land in somebody's lap or on the floor. Wow. Well, been in nursing for a long time. So I was, a, I'll say an open skeptic. Put the, the X39 on one night, got up the next morning and took off to the bathroom. Just, I got in there and I said, uh, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's the point that people are noticing that I'm walking up and down ramps. I'm walking so much better that oh people are gosh. noticing. I'm saying, well, yeah, let me tell you why. <laughs> so it's that for me is huge that is that's a it's a whole life changer it oh, is yeah. life oh, changer yeah. life enhancer life exciter <laughs> that i don't need to hold on to somebody or to something mm -hmm. you know so it's oh congratulations yeah. that is a beautiful story thank you so, can i ask you too. a quick question do you do your x39 on your feet or just anywhere you asking me? Yes, ma'am. On the back of my neck. Actually, right Perfect. now the X39 is on my right hip because there's some pain down there. But uh, it's when I first used it, it was right just on the, the back of the neck. Okay. It is systemic. It'll work anywhere, but sometimes it does help to put it in a localized area. So Definitely. that's a great question because a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. So thank, thank you. you. And awesome. real quick, Karen, I just want to mention to everybody. If you're not speaking, please leave yourself muted. And some people are muting and then they're unmuting themselves and I'm muting them again. And I'm muting you because it's interfering with the current speaker. So if only the current speaker could remain unmuted in addition with, with Karen, that's gonna, that's gonna be very helpful. So thank you. Thanks, Gregory. Yeah. It's a big deal, yeah. So Henrietta, did you still wanna talk? Your hand went yes, down. Yes, yes. Yeah. Come on Can in. you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. This weekend, I, I, I had a phone call from someone that was very skeptical. Um, she's very ill with uh, neurological problems. And she has pro a, a problem. She gets infections when she doesn't completely empty her bowel, I mean, her urine. And so she noticed that by using the X39, that she could totally, completely empty her urine, uh, her, um, well, when she urinates it, she, her bladder's totally empty and she's ecstatic because she's been sick for several years and has had infections because the urine just uh, stays there and it causes infection. So hip hip hooray for X39, that's all she used. That's awesome. And that's another life changer for sure. I think everything, right. even the smallest little pain, when it goes away, it does enhance and help in your life. I mean, it's amazing. So thank you. Thanks for sharing that, Henrietta. Thank that's you. Fabulous. Awesome. We have time for some more. So come on in. Who's next? This is Jonna. Can you hear me? Yes, Donna. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, I have one story I wanted to share, which is an older one, but um, I was so excited to hear the story about the Alavita. And I thought I would mention that um, I had had during the, uh, pen the worst of the pandemic when you couldn't even talk to a doctor, I had this, this thing just sort of, I had a brown spot and it started to get bigger and bigger and bigger every day. I, I mean, it was scary. I had no that idea what scary. was going on. Yeah. And, and so I didn't know what to do. And after, I don't know why it took me five days, but anyway, <laughs> I use X39 all the time. But after five days, I thought, I'm going to put an X39 on top of it and see what happens since I can't get any help from anybody right now. 
I put it on top and every day it went down. And after five days, there wasn't even a brown spot. Wow. That's so exciting, especially because it was getting bigger and bigger. Oh my gosh. Oh, every day it was getting bigger. It was raising up about, you know, maybe a, a couple centimeters every day. So um, I don't know what it is. I don't need to know what it was. <laughs> I'm just really grateful that it went away the way it did. But now oh, I know yeah. that there are two things that we can use. We can use X39 and we can use aloe vera for some things like that too. So that's I'm amazing. excited to know that. Oh, that's a great story. Thank you, Jana. And that's another life changer because that would be scary. I would have been yeah. terrified. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So that was, that was, that was really wonderful. All right. Thank you. So it looks like Michelle's going to come in and bless us next. We get so many great stories. Thank you. Come on in, Michelle. Unmute. Michelle, you're still muted. Give it one more try to unmute. If you still want, there you go. It looks like you're good. I have a couple of quick pain ones with the carnosine. Um, okay. One of my friend's little boy was, he's almost 11 and he's kind of gangly and he's outgrowing himself and he was running and fell, and broke his arm. And Ouch. the day that he um, got his cast on is the day that she told me about it. And I thought, well, for a broken bone, that would be carnosine. So I sent her home with two X39s and two carnosine. I said, put one of each on his um, break, wherever he thinks. You could put one on the top and one on the bottom or stack them up or however you want to. And when she did, he pointed to the place. He told her exactly where he wanted them to be put. <laughs> and so she left him on for 24 hours. And then she took a break for a day and he was ready um, to have the other ones put back on. But he said, she, and again, he pointed exactly to where he wanted him. He knew exactly where it hurt and he really wanted him back on. And as soon as she put him back on, he stopped having pain again. So that carnosine really helped with the bones. Wow. Well, at the same time, the same day, for some reason, his dad fell and broke his foot, broke a bone in his foot and twisted his knee real bad. And so he said, well, I want some of those patches. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some. <laughs> we put a carnosine and a X39 on his foot and he wore that for 24 hours. And then my friend came back over to get some more patches from me because they needed a refill. And um, <laughs> and she said, okay, so where do you want me to put this on your foot today? And he says, oh, you don't have to put it on my foot. He said, my foot doesn't hurt anymore. Put it on my knee. <laughs> and he had, both, he had bone in his foot. So just that one wearing gave him quite a bit of relief. Anyway, long story short, she signed up as a distributor. She's a massage therapist and she's already selling it to a lot of her clients. Her mom signed up as a distributor. And she has a lot of customers. And then another day, that, that, same, that same week, I was getting uh, my vacuum cleaner repaired. And the man in the store said, well, give me a minute. He said, it's going to take me a while to get that part because I hurt my knee. His giant dog had run up against him and knocked him down. And <laughs> he, he almost thought he broke his knee and his hip. And I gave him X39. And so he's had three patches over the last week and a half. And he said, when he gets paid Wednesday, he's going to sign up too. So it's just amazing how much these things work and how quickly and how much benefit people get because he's able to keep working and staying on his feet. That's huge. That's wonderful. And um, oh, may I jump I was... in, Carrie, may I jump in? Michelle, yeah. what about yeah, yeah. SP6? What about that testimonial? <laughs> okay. okay. My SP6 story. Um, I've been using X39 for a couple of years and I had lost about seven pounds in the beginning. And about three months ago, I think I'm on my third or fourth sleeve of SP6. And I decided um, to try that. And I've very easily, without even realizing it, I've lost 30 more pounds. And I noticed the other day too, that I use aloe vita off and on at night. And my skin is not saggy, like I thought it was gonna be from losing weight. And it's just another wonderful blessing. Oh, I love that. I love that. And you remind me because of your sharing and you're using it and everything. You remind me of something that coach Clarissa said last Thursday, 
that um, if you're not sharing, you're not serving others. And you guys are serving others. You're doing a wonderful job. So Everybody that's needs awesome. I, I just it. want to add one thing and thank you, Michelle. And that's the lesson is never leave home without it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm, let's see, I'm about, let's see, probably 65 pounds less than I was when I first started using X39. It didn't just fall off of me like it did you, Michelle. I've had to really work at it. But Dr. Nicholas always says that whatever you're doing, when you're using the patches, everything works better. And what I've noticed for me, and I'll, I already confessed happily that I'm 72, since I've been 15, I've never been able to keep weight off. I was either dieting or gaining weight all the time, and it was mostly the wrong way. And I've been able to keep it off very easily compared to before. I mean, that's a lot of decades. So the only thing different is the patches. And you might have to really work at it like I do. I have to work really hard at it. It doesn't fall off, but it, it does fall off when I work at it and use the patches. So keep it up, you guys. Whatever it is that you're doing, these patches are going to make it better. So who's next? How, what is our time? Oh, do we need to turn it over to you, Gregory? Is it time uh, for that? We could do one or two more if, if anybody. I don't see Karen? any hands up. Who Karen? wants to talk? Karen? Yeah. Hello, Karen. It, it's Michelle. Hi. And I Hi, just Michelle. noticed. A Hi, lovely. I just noticed a question in the chat from Connie oh, Waters okay. She's asking about a horse. And I didn't answer because I'm not good on horses, but I'm wondering in this beautiful community of 73 people on the call, if anyone can help Connie Waters with a question about the horse. What's Do you want me to read it so yes, everyone please. can yes, hear it? You, thank you. Okay. So Connie asks, she says, has anyone had experience? Experience with horses, my friend has a 22-year-old horse down with tummy ache and now only drinks four gallons compared to the 20 gallons it needs a day in Arizona. He has Aculite on the back of his neck and hip and X39 on his chest. Any other suggestions? Well, I will tell you, I am not a horse, but anytime I've had any kind of stomach disturbance, I put an Eon or a glutathione on my stomach, it goes away. So I would try that. And then I think Anne-Marie had something or use your hand up for a story. No, that was on the horse. We've had horses and um, I hope it's not the the word that, you know, I don't want to say the diagnosis, but what horses get that gets terrible and, you know, stomach, intestine pain and not good. So I was thinking of carnosine. I don't have horses now, so I can't try my patches out on horses, but carnosine, just what Ann said with tummy distress, Dr. Jeff said, I might even put two on an animal that size. And I was saying energy enhancer, just because there must be some blocked energy somewhere. So maybe is it Dr. Jeff, Dr. Acklin say, you know, a triangle shape is great. And so maybe the energy enhancers, white on right, tan on left, and then a carnosine in some kind of a triangle, perhaps, but just, I would just get the carnosine on maybe two. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So that's a couple of things there. Awesome. Well, thank you. Know. Can I say a word? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know about you, but uh, I had uh, digestive issues for three decades. And um, for the first two decades, I took Prelosec and all that. And then I discovered uh, probiotics. They were good also. But then all of a sudden, I've been taking the X39 and it takes a while. And after like a year or so, I haven't taken uh, I haven't taken uh, any probiotics for over a year or a year and a half. So I think the X39 also works. It That's works awesome. for me. That is awesome. Yeah, and I would just keep trying all of those. That's a great idea. And I love the fact that you said it takes time. Our bodies take time to get better. And our bodies know how to heal. They heal themselves. We don't heal them. But these patches really put us in a position that our bodies can do their job. So cool. Thank you. That was a lot of good, good info. That's why I love this community. All of this help we get from each other. We learn so much from each other. And that's why this is such an important and powerful call. So thank you. And I think with that, Gregory and Robin, I think I'm going to turn it over to you guys because you probably have a lot of good stuff you want to say. Well, Michelle's yeah. hand went back up, though. <laughs> we do. Thank you. We've got a few things to share. And Robin, I think, uh, I think we've got some new directors that I think you might be hearing from on tonight's call and a whole slew of new managers. So 
Uh, we've got 17 of the 20, you know, we're running the manager maker contest and uh, it's going to be the first 20 new managers and their manager maker upline are, are getting a, a cash bonus. We've got three spots left and they'll probably be filled before the end of the day. But uh, tonight we're going to celebrate all of those managers. We're going to, you know, we're not going to have them all on the call, but we're going to acknowledge them all in the newsletter and on the call. But Robin, do you want to talk? I think we may have one or two of our new directors on the call tonight. Is that right? We do. We do. I know for sure that um, Janet's going to be on and we'll find out about our other one and see if she can be on also. And, um, you know, I think everyone knows we're, we're getting ready. We're starting the piles to pack. Uh, Karen <laughs> and Darlene are already there. So we're, we're heading to Florida. We're going to get to see a lot of you. And I just want to clarify um, uh, um, uh, something that needs clarification. Um, the company just wants to be create a really, really safe environment for everyone with what's going on. And I know a lot of people have chosen to not travel and we totally respect you doing what you feel is best. And they did suggest that people have a PC, you know, a test before they come. It's not required. I just wanted everyone to know that that test is not required. It's a suggestion for safety for people. So just know that. Um, <clears throat> And if you are coming, we want to make sure we have your name and um, cell phone number because uh, we want to make sure we get to connect as a group and invite you up to our suite and get to spend you know time with you. So make sure you send me either a text or email or Facebook Messenger, however you want to reach me. I'll put my um, my email in the chat for everyone. Uh, so if anyone, if you're not going, but people on your team are going, please make sure we know because we want to make sure to be with each of you and meet you. And let's see, what else, Gregory? Um, um, yeah, regarding well, reg registration, there was a hiccup yesterday and registration shut down and got started back up for virtual registration. Virtual registration ends tonight. So if you're not physically coming, you, you know, and, and let your folks know that if they're not physically coming, they still can register for the virtual attendance uh, today. If they're physically coming, but they haven't registered, there will be on-site registration. Okay, so and no one's going to get turned away that shows up, but the, the online registration is no longer available for, for physical attendance. And it is, it is, the deadline is at midnight Eastern, so that's 9 p.m. Pacific tonight. Yeah, it got turned off a little bit yesterday, but it went back on and um, people got registered just fine. We know some people wait till the last minute. That's part of life. <laughs> yeah. And then on Thursday, uh, we're going to be just uh, joining you from, from Orlando, Kai and Lynette, Gregory and I, uh, and whoever else is with us to share the energy and excitement of being together and getting ready for a big show. So there's a lot of great things unfolding. They're putting on a major production. Please stay tuned. There's some things that will be available for everyone who's watching. So um, people are having watch parties. Um, Robin Hoffman had this great idea to, you know, between your, your watch parties is connecting with your team all over the country by having, you know, a Zoom with your team. So when you can have dinner together or lunch together or whatever, and, you know, share the excitement of what's going on. So everyone stays connected. Okay. Anything else? Anything else, Gregory? It. So, um, you know, I think I'll just invite yeah. everyone to unmute and say, say your hellos and goodbyes and have a great Monday. Thank you so much. This was thank hey, Gregory and Howard, I just want Hi. to say thank you. Hey, Greg, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have an amazing you. time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, Gregory, I just wanted to remind people, when you sign up for the uh, convention online, you have access to it for two weeks. Oh, yeah. So if you can't yeah. make it on the weekend, you, yeah. and you'll be able to review it and take notes. So there you go. And, and so. everyone who's there in person also has that two-week access. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a good to know. So if you can't make it for any reason, know you, it, that you can make it. And they're providing a special website, which will have the replays from the event, but it's going to have lots of other bonus goodies. So it's not just what's at the conference. There's some extra, extra bonus items. Right. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very everyone. much. Thank See y'all tonight. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Y'all come back Bye, now. Everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always. <laughs> okay, now I can just get it on.